Hi, this is Ken Gearing from Thermostore. Today we're going to talk about what makes a house wet. What are we dealing with? We're going to define the loads in a green glass climate on a house that is air conditioned. First, we need to define the moisture levels in green grass climates and the moisture in air in an unoccupied home. Usually, uh, when discussing moisture, uh, we talk about the actual amount of water in the air, and this is uh, technically referred to grains of moisture uh, per pound of air. Comfort levels in a home, uh, ideally most uh, prefer 75 degrees and 50%. This is a 55 degree dew point with uh, 64 grains of moisture per pound of air. Outside, uh, when the dew points uh, are uh, at uh, 55 degrees or 64 grains per pound, uh, outside it may be uh, as high as 95 degrees and 60% uh, RH, which is a 78 degree dew point and 150 grains per pound. Uh, one other point is that uh, a pound of uh, air contains 14 cubic feet uh, of air in volume. Let's define a typical house uh, so we've got some example to work with. Uh, today we'll use 2,000 square feet uh, with uh, 9 foot ceilings. Uh, the amount of uh, air that uh, may pass through a home of this size typically ranges from uh, 10 to 100 cubic feet uh, per minute uh, of infiltration, uh, ventilation. This could be from bath fans, range hood, and wind, or, or dedicated mechanical ventilation. Uh, with 100 CFM uh, at 95 degrees, 60%, uh, uh, which is at 78, 78 degree dew point, we've got about 5.6 pounds of water uh, that enters the home above what uh, we'd like. Uh, four people in a home uh, from respiration and activity would add about two pounds per hour. So the total load of moisture on that home uh, from occupants and infiltration is 7.6 pounds per hour. Uh, the numbers we're using here for outside uh, load is uh, on a based on a design day from ASHRAE, which uh, is a... Uh, Hottest, hotter days of the year, uh, 3 to 4 percent of the days uh, would be uh, at that level. And then, of course, as you know, we go all the way down to not needing any cooling at all, uh, and this could occur anytime during the uh, warmer three seasons. Uh, a two and a half ton AC would be typically uh, in a high quality home, uh, would be uh, the kind of AC that would be recommended. Uh, properly set up and sized, uh, this would remove uh, 30,000 BTUs uh, of heat per hour. 22,500 uh, 22, BTUs uh, would be sensible heat, and uh, 7,500 uh, BTUs would be latent, that'd be moisture removal. This amounts to 7.5 pounds of dehumidification per hour. Uh, if the AC is running, uh, total time, this matches uh, the amount of water that the AC would remove. So uh, ideally, an AC is capable of maintaining uh, 75 degrees, 50% relative humidity uh, during peak load conditions. Now, uh, we're faced with uh, having to, uh, every day is followed by a night, and on a warm day, uh, we have a warm night, uh, let's assume here for the example, We've got a 75 degree evening. We've got 91% uh, relative humidity, which is a 75 degree dew point. Uh, as this uh, 100 CFM of air enters the home, it represents uh, 4.3 pounds of uh, moisture per hour. Uh, typically, uh, the AC is going to run quarter time during the evening, which uh, removes uh, only two pounds an hour. With AC runtime, uh, limited runtime, uh, we can only reach 75 degrees and 68% RH, which is 64 degree dew point or 88 degree uh, 
88 uh, grains per pound. So understand that uh, during the day the house was uh, at 50 uh, percent and as the evening proceeds we lose uh, uh, the humidity control we wanted and gradually the house will build up uh, to that 60 percent RH uh, as time goes by. Uh, assuming next day that we have a uh, hot day again, everything is uh, under control, uh, and uh, the home is dried out again, and this would be a condition which uh, may be a little uncomfortable, but would be acceptable. Uh, but now, worst case scenario is, uh, let's assume, uh, as in green grass climates, we have rainy warm days uh, mixed in to hot dry days, and so on. Uh, what happens on a uh, rainy warm day? Uh, assuming that uh, 75 degrees, 100 percent, it's raining, 75 degree dew point, we've got 131 grains per pound of uh, uh, air, uh, 131 uh, grains of moisture per pound of air that infiltrates that home. Plus we got the uh, moisture from the occupants. AC is running uh, quarter time, uh, similar to the night, again removing two pounds of our of uh, two pounds of moisture per hour. This gets us uh, a 75 degree, 77 percent RH, 67 degree dew point, 100 uh, grains per pound in the inside air, which means uh, we've got a damp house. Uh, followed by a rainy night, worst case scenario, of course, uh, the moisture levels continue to rise. Uh, if this uh, situation continues, for several days, which it commonly does, we could easily reach 90% uh, uh, relative humidity in that home uh, and be very uncomfortable. Uh, as an AC uh, cycles, uh, short cycles in this kind of a condition, uh, at best it may remove a pound of water per hour. Uh, all of our infiltrations and loads here are based on 100 cubic feet of fresh air infiltration uh, plus occupancy of uh, four, which uh, may or may not be the case depending on uh, how the home is utilized. Okay, to uh, summarize this, we'd like to look at what is the dehumidification load that we need to have removed. 100 CFM of outside air. 70 degrees, 100% relative humidity uh, is four pounds uh, from the infiltration, plus the people load, which is two pounds, which totals six pounds per hour. The AC is only removing one to two pounds, leaving four pounds left. Solution. Currently, many recommend that the AC, AC stat simply needs to be turned down, making the AC run more. The results is overcooling, and as you overcool, relative humidity rises uh, versus actual water content. So even though we may reduce the moisture in the air, our relative humidity has got the potential to rise by 6%. Every degree the temperature decreases, the RH increases by about 2%. Solution to this really would be supplemental dehumidification as needed to remove the remaining 5 pounds per hour. Uh, sizing the dehumidifier uh, would be uh, best. Uh, at this point, uh, we'd recommend using uh, an Ultramare 70 uh, H, which uh, removes about three pounds of uh, water per hour. It adds about 6,500 BTUs of heat to the home, which will increase the AC runtime uh, by 15%. Increasing the runtime also removes the latent uh, removal of the air conditioner. So uh, adding a little heat, uh, if it is still at the point of uh, doing some cooling, will extend its run time, the AC's run time by enough to remove two pounds uh, of moisture per hour. So uh, the total uh, increase in dehumidification uh, would be three pounds from the dehumidifier and two pounds from the air conditioner, about five pounds per hour, which is much uh, is going to help our uh, high moisture level in the home much a lot. Um, AC and dehumidifier interaction is important at this stage. Uh, as the cooling load declines, uh, the dehumidifier uh, removes more and more moisture. On no cooling load days, 
uh, the dehumidifier only operates. On the hot days when the home is unoccupied, the AC may be uh, turned off or the temperature raised. <clears throat> the dehumidifier maintains 50% for minimal energy consumption regardless what the temperature in the home is. Thank you.